This is the Get Started video for the Singer C5200 series sewing machines. Though this series of machines may be available in various colors, the functionality shown in these videos applies to all models of the C5200 series. We'll begin with a quick overview of the machine and its main parts. Then we'll show you how to wind and insert a bobbin and how to thread the top of the machine. This will be followed by selecting stitches, sewing a buttonhole, changing presser feet, and changing needles. For more information, a full instruction manual is available on the Singer website to view or download anytime. So now let's get started. Let's take a look at some of the main parts of the machine before we thread it. Over here is where you'll plug in the power cord, and here is where you'll plug in the foot control. You'll turn the machine on with this switch. This is your hand wheel, and this is used to manually move the needle up and down. You want to always turn the hand wheel toward you. Up here is your bobbin winding spindle and your bobbin winding stopper. Back here is your spool pin, thread guide, a bobbin winding tension disc, this is the reverse button, this is your thread take up lever right here, your tension dial, the thread cutter, this is your needle threader, your buttonhole lever, this is your needle clamp screw and your needle clamp and it holds the needle in place. It's your presser foot and presser foot lifter which you use to raise the presser foot and it has an extra high setting for extra thick fabrics. This is your needle plate. This is your LCD screen and it shows your stitch selection by number as well as that stitches width and length setting. The front panel of the machine has the stitch selections printed for you and they're all shown there by number so you use these buttons to pick your stitch and these buttons to adjust the width and length. This is your removable storage compartment and you can slide it off the end of the machine to expose the free arm which is great for when you want to hem things like trouser legs or sleeve cuffs, any small areas like that. And there's a little hinged door here that gives you access to the bobbin area. And we'll talk more about the bobbin area when we get ready to wind a bobbin. The removable storage compartment has an opening in the back where you can store your machine's accessories that came with your machine. Then they're handy at your fingertips anytime you're ready for them. When you're ready to replace the removable storage compartment, just slide it on from left to right and it just clicks into place. For more information, a full instruction manual is available on the Singer website to view or download anytime. 